Welcome back. Uh, this video, we're going to talk about the uh, weirdness of navigating Lightroom. It's a little bit strange compared to other creative programs or any other program. It's got its own little way of doing things. They get easy as you use it. By the end of this course, you will master it. But let's go through some of the interesting things that it does. First up, make sure you can see loads of stuff. If you can't, go back up to here and say all photographs, please. Okay, just to see everything you've got so far. Okay, and let's look at the first one. Let's open up an image, any image. I'm gonna pick up a dab chick. Okay, and I just double click it to open it. You can double click it to go back to grid view. Double click it to open it. Double click it to go in. Double click, you got it. Double clicking. Now zooming in and out. Now, there is a couple of ways. The boring way, okay? Fit is just gonna try and squeeze it into your screen. And then 100% is like as good as the pixels can be any more okay if you zoom in twice as much okay you'll start to see a lot more detail but you'll start to see some of the pixels okay so this is the boring way mm, zoom in and out we don't want the boring way we want the good way so i've gone back to fit and let's do it the fancy way and um, the way i do it is i hold down my command key on a mac control key on a pc and just drag around something so give that a go command key on a mac just hold it down control key on a pc and just drag around something and you're in to get back to fit the default is always fit hit spacebar it kind of just toggles between where you were back to fit it's just really handy if you're kind of like remember hold down command key control key on a pc drag around something really detailed okay and you're like oh yeah that's great great but you're making changes making editing okay changes but you want to see what it's doing to everything as well so space bar toggle in toggle out toggle in toggle in <laughs> you get the idea now that's the way i do it if you are um not quite a shortcut person there is there's about 10 different ways i'm just going to give you two you pick one for the rest of the course okay so we're going to go space bar back to fit okay remember my command or control key is one way Okay, the other way is just to click hold for a little bit. Okay, can you see the cursor change? So click hold for a little bit and then just drag right or left, right or left, up to you. Okay, the same thing happens though once you've let go, space bar back to where you were, space bar back in, there you go. There are other ways of doing it as well. If you find another way and you're like, ha, oh, that's the way for me. Good, <laughs> congratulations. One of the many ways of zooming. And it took me a little while to get used to it. So space bar come all the way out. And the next thing I want to show you is, well, actually just to mention, the hand only appears when you're zoomed in. Can you see that, like I didn't do anything, I just hit spacebar, okay, to get back to my old zoom level, or let's go the caveman way, let's go zoom in to 400%. Okay, so you see the hand appears, just appears, all by itself. Spacebar to get back out to fit. Okay, uh, another thing we have talked about is grid view versus uh, detail view. So we're in detail view now. Hit G on your keyboard, go back to grid. Okay, so G and D, look at your keyboard now. Look down there, look at that D, and there's a space, and there's a G, probably. <laughs> I don't know what language your keyboard's in. Uh, but what's in between? F, wonder what happens when we hit that one. Hit that one, go. You have to have something selected, hopefully, when full screen. Ha! This is handy when you are doing that, like, have I made it better or worse? Like. I often hit F to go full screen, and then I slide back off, or way back here. And I'm like, oh, looks terrible. <laughs> what have I done? Or I'm a genius. Okay, so I'm sliding back in here. So F is just a nice way of kind of looking at the entire screen altogether. Okay, back to D or G, get you back to kind of this, um, you know, these different ones. So here you go. They're all down here if you want the long way. There's two grids. So if you tap G twice, you get this one, which I quite like, or the other one. Okay, which is more rectangles and gives you a bit more information. Both are useful. D and F. Look at them right next to each other on the keyboard. Okay, it won't go from F to D. <laughs> Will it? F to D? It won't. How about that? All right, so those are our settings kind of for different views. One thing you can do is see this film strip down the bottom here? Sometimes it's really nice to see it and sometimes it's just a bit distracting. So let's say we're working on this image here and actually we don't want to see this film strip. You can just pop it in down here, okay? You see this little option? Just collapses it down. Up, down, up, down. You can still do your edits, okay? But sometimes it's not really helpful to see. Sometimes it is because you're actually in detailed view and you're actually just having a hunt through stuff. What you can do is like this dab chick here. If I'm in the middle here, I can use my left and right arrows. I don't even have to click on it down here. When I'm working on this and I'm doing my contrast and I'm zoomed in, okay, and I'm like, oh, great, here he is. Just use my left and right arrow and it will just toggle through the different images down here in my film strip, which can be handy when you're zoomed in to like, just to make sure the focus is, you know, which, which image has the best focus. So just left and right on your arrows uh, on your keyboard. All right, that's gonna be it. Um, just enough to get us going. If you're like, wow, it was all too much, too early. 
Don't worry, I'll mention them all throughout the course. Remember, there's a shortcut sheet and there's probably another four or five ways of doing everything. So if you find it, awesome. All right, for now though, let's carry on with the course. Actually, before I go, he doesn't look as friendly in this photograph, does he? <laughs> Beautiful bird. Dun, dun, dun. You'll also notice that there was a bit of a delay here. It's another thing to notice. Pixelated, not pixelated. Okay, it just happens. It, it tries to load things really quickly so you can, you know, like scrub through things really nice and fast. And it takes a little while to get the like high quality version. It's a bit of a trade off of speed and then loads it up. You might not even notice. You might have a better computer than me. It might be fast. You also might be on a really bad computer and it may take <laughs> a really long time to load and adjust these things. And yeah, RAM is what you need. Lots of it. All right, that is it. Navigation in Lightroom and its weirdness over. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on. Like and subscribe.